So there's a brand new Forex broker on the block, and it's called Osprey FX. For everyone out there watching this video that lives in the United States, yes, this broker is an offshore broker, but they do accept US clients, which is a plus. Overall, I had an amazing experience testing out this broker, speaking to their live chat, making a deposit, making a withdrawal. I went through every single thing that I go through to determine if a broker is right for me, and this broker definitely has my stamp of approval. Now, before we get into the video, I actually want to talk about my favorite aspect of this broker, and it's the trading competition. If you have a competition trading account within Osprey FX, you can participate in their trading competition and potentially earn $10,000, $30,000, or $50,000. You heard that correctly, $10,000, $30,000, or $50,000, just depending if you're on first, second, or third place. So again, make sure you watch the entire video from beginning to end because I'm going to go over everything you need to know about this broker and how you can participate in their trading competition if it's currently going on at the moment at the time you're watching this video. So with that being said, again, my name is Justin and if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me on social media. My social media links are down below, my Facebook and my Instagram page. Other than that, let's get started. Okay, so here we are on the website Osprey FX. Don't forget, if you want to follow along with me and look at the website while watching my video, click the link below this video. It'll take you to the website and you can sign up. You can go through everything as you're listening to me in the background. So here we are on the website. First thing we notice, lightning fast ECM broker offering one to 500 leverage. Now in the back office, you will have the ability to choose your leverage. Anywhere between 100 to 500 leverage, you have the ability to choose which is great because if you're just starting out, if you're brand new to trading, the lower the leverage, the better. This way, you lose less amount of money due to over trading, right? Because generally, the reason why we're able to over trade and use such high lot sizes is because we have it set to max leverage. If you lower the leverage, that means that the amount of lots you can open will be limited to a specific amount. Therefore, you don't blow your account in one sitting. So this is good. I really do like how the fact that they give you the option to choose your leverage. So I give them an A plus for that. And it's very simple in the back office. You don't have to call them. You don't have to email them. You don't, you don't have to do live chat and say, hey, can you change my leverage? You can change it right there. Right under the title, it says you can trade Forex, cryptos, CFDs, stocks, and commodities with full STP execution. So yes, you can trade oil. You can trade gold. I believe you can trade natural gas. I have to check but I do believe you can trade that as well. And you can trade the you know, popular stocks and all the Forex pairs you can trade as well. So that works with me. That's all I need. I only need to trade the majors, a few minor pairs, uh, gold, oil, and maybe like one or two stocks here. But you can also trade cryptocurrencies, so that's a plus as well. I only trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ripple. Those are the only three cryptocurrencies that I trade. So it's a plus the fact that they let you do that. So we scroll down and as you can see, again, one to 500 leverage, which is their max. You can trade a minimum of one micro lot, which is perfect for beginners. A minimum deposit of $10. Again, you can trade 30 over 30 cryptocurrencies. And of course, as more cryptocurrencies come about, as they become more popular, you'll be able to trade more and more cryptocurrencies. You can trade over 55 Forex pairs and you can trade over 100 stocks. When I personally checked it, I didn't see 100 stocks. I reached out to them and they told me they, they're working with their providers and they, they couldn't come to an agreement to have a good price for the traders to trade on. So at the moment, I personally only see about 20 or 30 stocks I'm able to trade. Later on, they'll be adding the rest of the stock so it fits the over 100 stock number here. So eventually you will be able to trade all the stocks listed uh, on this website. But for now, I only see 20 to 30. Not a big deal because I don't even trade stocks. If anything, if I do trade a stock, I'm only going to trade Snapchat and Tesla. On the broker right now, you can trade Tesla. You can sign up and trade Tesla, so that's perfect. Um, and I do believe that if you want them to add a stock you have for you to trade specifically, you need to reach out to them and they'll be able to add it in your uh, MT4 account specifically for you to trade. So that is a benefit. I really do appreciate that support. I was blown away how I just reached out and said, hey, could you add the stock? And they said, yes, no, no disagreements, no arguments. They said, sure, we'll add it for you to trade specifically. So I really do love that customer support. I mean, the level of support right there was beyond five stars when I reached out to them via live chat. So let's go ahead and keep scrolling down. Uh, they basically tell you, you know, just give you a description about their brokerage, 
how they have a referral program. Every broker nowadays has a referral program. Here's the training competition. So let's go into detail about how you can make some free money. This is a training competition for a live account, not a demo account. The benefit for that is the fact that when you trade on a demo account, okay, here's the downside about demo competitions with brokerages nowadays. There is no emotion behind it. Anybody can put on a hundred lot trade on a $50,000 or a $100,000 account, triple their account in one month because they just hold it for like 300 pips or whatever it may be, and you know they win the competition, which is great. You know You do have to have a level of skill in order to win the competition, but at the same time, there is no emotion behind it. The good thing about a live account competition, it puts everyone on an even playing field. The reason why, it's because everybody's using real money. Therefore, the emotions are simulated in a real way because you're trading on a live account. So it puts everybody on edge to win the competition. Professionals and beginners alike, everybody's on edge because everybody wants to win the $50,000. So it makes it harder for everybody to keep a you know cool, calm, collected mind, which gives you an edge. It gives you the opportunity to do a better job and you know potentially become in the top three places. And that's why I really love this. So if you're brand new and if you want to try it out, this is the perfect way for you to get started and to learn about Forex and uh, see what you can do, especially if you're just starting out, okay? I went too long about that, but I thought I'd mention that right there. They trade here with MetaTrader 4. So this is just a fancy graphic they put together. Uh, the back office doesn't look like that. MetaTrader 4 doesn't look like that. It's just a, a login thing that they made. But yeah, you can trade on MetaTrader 4 from your computer or from your phone. Again, you can trade cryptocurrencies, and this is a 24-7 trading condition. So you can trade cryptocurrencies 24-7 on this brokerage. You don't have to worry about the market closing. So that is also a plus for those of you that trade cryptocurrencies. Segregated funds, of course, this is a must. This has become standard in the Forex industry. Anytime you deposit funds, that goes into your landing account. And then when you transfer funds from your landing account to your trading account, those are your, your funds are held in two different accounts, right? which is your trading account and your landing account. Basically, what this means is if something were to happen to the company and if the company goes out of business, the company cannot use your funds to fund their company's operation. So this is basically the importance of segregated funds. And so if something happens to the company, nothing will happen to your money. That is the benefit of using a broker such as Osprey FX. It is segregated funds. And tier one banking basically means that they work very closely with uh, their payment services to provide you with very fast deposits and withdrawals. And when they say risk management, it basically means they have customer verification processes, uh, processes in place and anti-money laundering laws. I opened a live account and I'm looking at the spreads of the trades. The spreads are great. I love the spreads especially for the major pairs, GBP USD, Euro USD, AUD USD, the spreads are very small. So let's go ahead and go right here to Lightning Fast ECM Broker, you will see right here. If we scroll down, the spreads are on average anywhere between 0.2 to 0.4. And I, I really, I really love this in it. Even Euro USD is on average 0.1 pips. The moment you press the, uh, the buy or sell button, it's automatically going to open the trade. It's not gonna take two or three seconds like the previous broker I was reviewing. This one actually does it lightning quick and very tight spread. So I give them an A plus for their spreads. Of course, when you get into the exotic pairs, that's when the spreads are kind of bigger. You can't help that on any broker. But yeah, when it comes to their major pairs and a few of the minor pairs, the spreads are very small. So I, I give them an A for that. Now, another thing I also want to mention is if you go over here, they have 24-5 customer support. So the moment you press this button, a form will appear. You just enter your name, your email, and your question, and a live chat representative at the company will start messaging you right away. I was very impressed. The moment I opened up a live chat, somebody started messaging me within five seconds. So if you have any questions, you can go up here to the FAQ page, click on main FAQ, and if you go ahead and click on help center, just type in your question. Let's say deposits. How long? Does it take for my deposit to reach my account? What deposit methods are available, right? Any any question you have, you can type it in or you can scroll down here and read all the commonly asked questions. If your questions are not answered right here on this page, just go ahead, fill out the live chat and they'll chat, and they'll chat with you right away, uh, 24-5, meaning anytime the Forex market is open, 
except for Saturdays, right? Anytime the Forex market is open, they will be able to chat with you. So I give them an A, not an A plus because it's not 24-7, but I give them an A because they have 24-5 customer support. So I'm very impressed with that. Now let's go back here really quick. Uh, I want to show you their depositing and withdrawing methods. So right here, let's go to deposit methods. They let you deposit with debit card and credit card, which not many international Forex brokers allow you to do. So if you live in the United States and you want to deposit with debit or credit cards, you can do so here with Osprey FX. At the moment, at the time of me making and uh, uploading this video, it's not available just yet, but they have it on the website because they're about to make it available. So once it is available, I'm pretty sure they're gonna send out an email to everyone so you can start depositing with your debit or credit card. And you can also withdraw back to that debit or credit card. Also, you can deposit with Bitcoin. This is my favorite. The reason why this is my favorite is because no one can deny a transaction with Bitcoin. Here's the benefit in that. In the past, with other Forex brokers, when I would deposit using my debit card, I never used a, de a credit card, but every time I used my debit card, every once in a while, my bank would decline the transaction because the broker is located overseas. So all I had to do was call my bank and say, hey, I want you to unblock this transaction. But the problem with that is I don't wanna to have to call in every time I want to unblock the transaction. It became a hassle. And the more times that my card is denied, the brokerage is forced to completely block my card altogether so I can no longer deposit into that broker account with my debit card. So the benefit with Bitcoin is you can deposit and withdraw as much as you want and no one can tell you no. No one can block your transaction. No one can force you to call them and unblock it because this is a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That is the benefit with Bitcoin. So I only use Bitcoin now for depositing and withdrawing to keep it very simple. Also, you can deposit via bank wire. So if you want to just use your bank, if you wanna send funds from your bank to their bank, you can do that, and if you want to withdraw funds from their bank to your bank, you can do that as well. So they pretty much have a lot of options for you at the moment, about two, three, four options for you to do it, and I'm pretty sure as time goes on, they're gonna add more options, okay? So I pretty much went over everything. You can trade cryptocurrencies, you can trade Forex, you can trade stocks, commodities, uh, indices, all these different things. They have 24-5 customer support. They have lightning fast execution. The moment you press it, opens it up. They're a true ECM broker and they have a trading competition. For the next two, three minutes, I'm gonna sign in and I'm gonna show you what the back office looks like and I'm gonna show you uh, how you can deposit funds and how you can transfer funds between accounts and then how you can withdraw your funds back to your funding source, okay? So let me sign in and I will show you that. Okay, so we're almost 20 minutes into the video, so I'm gonna make this nice and quick for you. Here is the back office. It's a very simple, clean, and intuitive dashboard. I really do love it. It's one of my favorite dashboards in trading in general. They really do know how to keep it simple, which is great. So here's the dashboard. If you want to deposit funds, you click on deposit. If you want to withdraw, you click withdraw. If you want to see all your different accounts, you click on my accounts and internal transfer. For those of you that are brand new to trading, there are two different accounts when you open up a broker account with the Forex platform. There's your landing account and your trading account. Your landing account is where your funds are held the moment you deposit those funds. From there, you decide where you want to transfer your funds. Do you want to transfer those funds to a trading account or do you just want to withdraw those funds back to your card or back to your bank? That's what a landing account is. So the moment you deposit funds, those funds are not instantly deposited into your trading account, they're deposited into your landing account. From there, you then get to decide where you want the funds to be transferred to. So in this case, I'm going to deposit about $150 just for the sake of this video to show you how it works and I'm going to deposit with Bitcoin. So when I deposit the $150, it's going to arrive right here, and you're going to see it say $150, okay? So what I'm oh, before we do that, what you need to do is you need to go here and click on KYC verification. Once you do that, it's going to ask you to upload two things, driver's license, proof of address. So if you have a bank statement, just grab the recent bank statement you have and upload that there. If they do this, it's just like every Forex broker to verify you are who you say you are because of anti-money laundering policies, okay? So keep that in mind. Once you've uploaded both documents, click on upload, and within an hour, less than an hour, you'll get an email whether or not you've been approved. If there was a mistake, they'll let you know what the mistake was, you correct it, and then you'll be approved. Once it's green and it says approved, you're good to go, you can start depositing and trading. 
So here's how you deposit funds. Okay, let's go ahead and click on deposit, select a wallet, uh, my USD wallet, which in this case is going to be up here, select type, I'm going to deposit with Bitcoin. And if you're watching this video a month, a year after I've uploaded this video, then they probably already added the ability to deposit by debit or credit cards. So that is a plus for you. So you can deposit with debit or credit cards and not have to use Bitcoin. You can use whatever preference you want. I prefer Bitcoin, like I mentioned before, because uh, no one can block the transaction. It's a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. So it's guaranteed to go through the moment I send it. So the amount I'm going to deposit is $150. Once I do that, I'm gonna click on this button and it's going to take me to the page to send the funds, okay? Right here. Now it says, send this amount of Bitcoin to the address below to receive $150. And it tells you you have 15 minutes to do so. So for those of you out there that are familiar with Bitcoin transactions and how it works, you, you already know how to do this. If you use Coinbase, you go to Coinbase, you click on the accounts tab, you click on send Bitcoin, and then you're going to copy this address, paste it into the recipient bar, and then type in how much money you want to send, and boom, you just send Bitcoin. If you use a cold storage wallet like myself, where my phone is my wallet, no one controls this. Uh, basically, my phone is my bank, right, when it comes to Bitcoin. I just pull up the camera, I scan the QR code, and it's instantly going to send Bitcoin from my phone to this brokerage. So I'm going to deposit right now, and I'm going to pause the video, and I'll unpause it once the funds are deposited. Okay, so the deposit officially went through. Here we are. I got the funds. Now we have to transfer the funds in the landing account right here. I I deposited $150, but because the Bitcoin, the value of Bitcoin can move just like that between the time you send it and the time they receive it, they're not going to receive the exact dollar amount in which you sent. So I sent $152 because I knew I would receive less in my account because of the change in Bitcoin, you know, in 30 minutes. So uh, I ended up getting $149.78. So keep that in mind. If you want to receive exactly $100 in your account, try sending about $105 uh, to cover the mining fees and the whole, you know, price fluctuation of Bitcoin. Anyways, let's get into it. So right there, I have $149. I'm going to click on internal transfer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select transfer from wallet to MT4. Now I'm going to select here my USD wallet, which is valued at $149. And I am going to select my account. As you can see, my account is right here, the USD account, where it says USD MT4 ECN. That's the one I'm going to do. So if you guys are confused about the whole Bitcoin thing, don't worry about it. Just create an MT4 account and you can follow along with this. So from wallet to MT4 USD, here we go. So I'm going to choose the amount. Let's do $100, okay? So I'm going to keep $50 in my landing account or technically $49. So I'm going to click transfer. And when I do that, I'm going to show you my phone live. I'm going to show you the actual uh, funds being deposited. So here we are right here, my Osprey FX account. So let's watch this, okay? So I'm going to click transfer. And as you can see, live on screen, if you saw that, the funds were instantly deposited into my trading account. So I now have $100 in my Osprey FX live trading account. Now, if you want to transfer funds from your trading account to your landing account, all you're going to do is on the internal transfers page, you're going to click here and you're going to click on MT4 to wallet. Once you do that, you're going to select your USD account. And if, and if it says $0, just refresh your page and it'll show you. So let's go ahead and refresh my page. And I have $100 in my trading account. So if you want to withdraw profits, you've been trading and you want to withdraw your profits, you go to internal transfer, you select MT4 to wallet, you select your, your trading account that has your money and your profits in it, and you're going to select the account. In this case, for me, it's my USD account, and I'm going to select how much I want to transfer. So in this case, if you want to transfer $10 that you have in your trading account, you're going to click, you're going to type in 10, and you're going to select request transfer and instantaneously $10 will come out of your trading account and be deposited into your landing account so it'll be right here. Then if you want to withdraw your profits to your actual bank account or back to your Bitcoin wallet what you do is you go over here and you click on withdraw 
Once you click on withdraw, you're going to click on select a wallet. You're going to select your landing account that has your funds. In this case, for me, it's $49. You're going to select your withdrawal type. And your first withdrawal has to go back to the same funding source you used. So in this case, I deposited with Bitcoin. So the first withdrawal has to be through Bitcoin. And I'm going to select how much I want to withdraw. So I'm going to type in the amount I want to withdraw. And then I'm going to enter my personal Bitcoin address that uh, Coinbase will generate for me or whatever Bitcoin wallet I use. I'm going to click on request withdrawal. And uh, within a few hours, you should receive your Bitcoin. Now, what I want to show you is how to participate in a trading competition if a trading competition is currently active. What you do is you're going to click on My Accounts and you're going to click on Create an Account. Once you click on Create an Account, you're going to go up here and click on Select Account Type. You don't see it here right now because at the time of recording this video, the competition is not active. And in order to participate in the trading competition, you need to create a trading competition account. So what you're going to do is you're going to click here and you're going to click on the button that says trading competition or competition live account. Anything with the word competition in it, that's the account you want to create. Once you create that competition account, you're going to deposit funds into the competition account and then you will be officially enrolled into the competition so you can trade and and uh, hopefully win okay so hopefully that was a very simple straight to the point explanation of the entire broker how to create an account how to get your uh, documents verified kyc verification and how to create a competition live account so you can participate in any trading competition so that's it for this video if you guys have any questions my links are down below for social media also the link to join osprey fx will be linked down below so click that link you sign up you get verified within an hour or two and you can start depositing and trading. So hopefully that was a good video for you guys. I'm starting to really enjoy these broker review videos. So if there's a broker you want me to review, just leave a comment down below and I'll check it out. So that's it for this video. Take care guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. And we'll see who wins the trading competition. If I win, man, I'm going on a nice vacation. <laughs> All right guys, take care. Bye-bye.